Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Artboard 3. And we're gonna be playing a domination match. Okay, so let's go. Okay, doing the usual. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Getting those containers. And since it's a domination map, I use my early scouts to hold the flags instead of sending them all at my enemy's base. So that's the thing. Gonna be holding some troops there, some troops here. Capturing these flags with some troops. Yeah. Okay, he's sending a bunch of troops here to attack these flags. Okay, the usual. Okay, five supply centers, HQ3, going six and seven supply centers. Nice, coyote. Perfect. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, retreat, retreat. Nah. Nah, I lost it. Okay, come on. We need to uh we need to uh recap that. Okay, tried scouting with the fortress as you guys could see. But my gun tower, I had a gun tower up here, it caught it. The reason I have a gun tower up here is because if you put a tower here, literally, who's going to come to this flag? It's going to be hard to take down that flag. He'd literally need Zeus and shield, so... Yeah, nobody's going to invest that much into just capturing a flag, unless it's a real battle. So, putting towers upon this hill... I mean, the opponent could do it... Oh, Vertex. The opponent could do it, too, so... Yeah, there's nothing, nothing to worry about. Hawk going back home. Oh. Oh, dang. I didn't even kept, I didn't even collect this container. Wow, so I have to send a rifleman to get it. Okay. Assaults are coming in to capture the flags. Vertex being pretty pesky. I can't engage a vertex in a dogfight. Hawks will lose. So I I uh I don't really do that. Okay, but we collected this container right there, so it's all fine. Okay, so I got a pretty decent pretty decent army. Three hawks, jaguars, porcupines also in production. Anti air towers coming up. Yeah. Pretty good. So I'm gonna try and attack this area with my with my uh, my vehicles. Of course, gotta put uh, the air raid warning because vertex could come at any moment. Okay, capture this flag. Good. Perfect. Okay. So basically managing my base, producing more units for defense, etc, etc. Of course, since it's a domination, if I just hold these three flags, I should be good. Okay, I scouted, and oh boy, HQ4. Even I don't have that yet, okay. So, apparently he might go for Zeus and shield. If he does, then I'm screwed. So, I'm gonna have to maintain flag pressure on him. And what I mean by flag pressure is that the flag will give a little bit of an extra attack bonus, which will help to combat the Zeus. So yeah, that should be pretty good. Hmm. I just don't want to get Zeus shielded though. That's going to be a pain. So, knowing that he's going to go for Zeus and shield, I have to go straight for HQ4 and start upgrading for Chameleon. 
Okay, something happened, but I can't tell. Okay, Chameleon is in production. Okay, I'm sending even more troops uh, over to reinforce this flag once again. Okay, so with that, with this Hawk Scout, I can tell that he is active. I mean, like... Look, he's producing something, which is a shield. I saw his vertex go up. So, he is not inactive. I guess he's not paying attention to the domination thing, because in a, in a short while, I am literally going to win. So, gotta, gotta keep the flag, man. This is not maneuvers. Okay, so I basically built a bunch of gun towers. Uh, if he tried to attack, it's going to be a no-go. So, lol. Chameleon even arrived here, so attacking this point will not be that easy. So, I mean, what what is he going to do? Let's see what he's, let's see what he's going to do. Put on three times. Got another chameleon. Anti-air towers, gun towers everywhere. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Is he really gonna do nothing? Is that what's gonna go? Is that what's gonna happen? Yep, he did nothing. Okay, good game.